Up next, we had a singles match for the IWGP Women's Championship. Kyrie taking on Tam Nakano, and man, the I, I guess we should we should say this: they got absolutely slayed on time, and yeah. from that whole presentation, I didn't like it. Um, regardless of the, of the work they did, like when they were doing like their super finishers and inside of five minutes and stuff, it was just like this is a total snow job. No, no, um, you know, no, no offense to either of them. They obviously they worked hard, and it's not in their uh, control. But I thought the presentation of this just was awful, especially like how they rolled the belt out uh, in the main event with the long match, and then they get five minutes here, and then it's just a backdrop for Mercedes Monet to come out. This this can't be what anyone wanted. So, um, I would, I would, I'm, I'm, I have similar opinions as you do. Uh, I would also add that like in the promo at the beginning of, or in the buildup or selling of com- in the commercials of this, of the show, like the way that they talked about this match or promoted this match, if it was going to go be like four from the top and then like the Muto match drops and then now all of a sudden the second. And, that's, and then you like scratch your head, like okay. Um, I am very or not very. I I have concerns about this belt, and what it actually is going to do for Stardom slash New Japan, um, especially Stardom domestically. Like domestically for Stardom is not gonna do Jack Shade for him. Um, so let, let, let's 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 um I'll I'll let's get to the match let's get to or let's talk about the match really quick. Watching it, it felt like they were I thought they were about to go the way they were wrestling, like this is gonna go like 10, 11 minutes. And you know, and like at the point where Kyrie has said uh, the the cutlass, and Kyrie goes up for the elbow, I thought Tam was going to fire up, get to the top rope, hit a shoot head butt, and some type of suplex him on the floor, and then they're going to just go back big brawl, and then throw big moves at each other again, and someone's going to get pinned. And then Kyrie just went into the elbow, and it was over. And I was like, oh, so there was no closing stretch in this sprint looking match. Um, Jeremy gave it four, three and a half. Meltzer gave it three and a quarter. I'm something like that, but it's like six minutes or barely. It's not even six minutes. It's five minutes and 40 some seconds. Um, and it's really weird what this belt is doing or what this belt has already done to be done to, uh, the starting roster. So originally it's supposed to be, so originally they came up with this thing, this tournament August and they attached to it saying like, Hey, there's somebody unbelievably famous that's going to be in this thing. And then the unbelievably, unbelievably famous person never came around. And then all of a sudden, like, the word was it's Sasha, or sorry, Mercedes. It's like, and she's going to be at the Tokyo Dome. It's like, okay. So, to me, it seemed like they thought that she was going to be able to, like, walk out of WWE and go straight to New Japan. Slash stardom. And she was because, not. Of, because, because of her amount of money, because the amount of money she, she uh, her asking price they put her on a new Japan. They, they use the new Japan budget to spend for her instead of stardom. And because of that, they decided to make this belt. So you are in Japan with the biggest, with the most popular Japanese women wrestlers in the world, in, in the country. And this is all to set up, uh, to get the belt to Mercedes. And that's fine. I just have questions about, her of what is going to do for you in the long term of ha- of feeding uh your roster to her especially if like she just goes back to WWE in like a year, 6 months, 9 months, whatever. Um which is a possibility. Right. And also be <laughs> like it also be like it, when the matches go off, I'm not like that's going to like I'm in the thing of like thinking about it in that certain way, right? But like once once and when the four star matches go off, I'm going to start I'm going to talk about this a lot less. It's going to matter to me less. Um cuz you can always rebuild people, right? But the I but the thing that was weird for me was like or me thinking about it was like okay so Tam at worst was like the number two most domestic 
most over the mess person in starting this year. She was more over than Julia, more over than Mayu this year. Um, the only person that you could say would be in front of her would be Starlight Kid. Um, as far as like popularity, merchandise, blah, 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 blah. Um, so you already got your number one star. You already got one of your two biggest stars this of, of the past year coming in, eating the L, coming in, eating the L in less than six Wished. minutes to, to somebody that like that left before the company took off popularity, um, domestically. And now it is a person that, that only means, but so much to this newfound audience because she wasn't around, um, post Boucher Road expansion. She's just been here the last, um, uh, uh seven nine months, months maybe nine months oh, okay. let's say nine months yeah. right let's say nine months and then she's now she's gonna face this person's brand new and in and she's a big star obviously but she's a big star in a different country uh and if the and like i'm i'm having concerns on how is this gonna how internationally is gonna grow the profile of stardom if if the stardom is get fed and like maybe there's somebody they have in mind to beat her. Maybe you know they change. Her. Maybe who knows? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Like who? Who? I, I just don't know. We'll see. But um, these are more like down the line concerns. If it if it progresses a certain way, um, we'll see. But um, yeah, and... just it's just it just felt like okay. So you, you, you fundamentally it felt flaws. Like okay, so you're going to squash. You're going to squash your number two. The, of, of 2022 to put this person that's below her and then the person below her is going to then put over this person and then like also like the person that we wanted to have the belt at first like also turned down the belt or whatever it, it's not a mark it's really my you it, wins it's um it's a it's a it's a, it's a, it's a lot of let- like Somebody let my stuff going on right now. Somebody let my you see the booking sheet. She was like, "No way." <laughs> <laughs> so after um, so we had so Kyrie retained, yep. um, and then uh, all of a sudden uh, we got the the new music for uh, Mercedes, kind of like a interpolation of like the hustle in the house kind of sample. She's coming out, and she has uh, like a. She has some type of gown on. It has like a Japanese flag on it, and um, she has the Statue of Liberty on her head. It's all really good. She gives in the ring. Um, does a does takes that off. Shows ring gear, uh, but you see her in these huge boots where she's like towering over Kyrie. So I'm like, okay, obviously she's not wrestling or anything. Uh, and it lo- looks like they're setting up a challenge. And then uh, they go for the handshake, and it falls off a cliff from there. Um, it like you know they they basically like confirm the challenge uh she goes for like this gory special into a ddt it's mistimed i don't know who mistimed it. it yeah I, I, I think but on replay most people say that Kyrie bosh and not not sasha and then um, i saw what she was actually going for and it's like it's not bad but you know it's one of those things where it's like when i first heard of heard like sasha was you know might come to start whatever i was thinking or new japan i was thinking about like what is she needs an impact finisher like a pinning finisher because like People don't really get tapped out in championship matches in Japan. It doesn't really happen. That's not really a thing. Mm-hmm. So um, I was wondering what it was going to be. And like, if it's done right, it'll look it'll look effective. But this wasn't done right. Yeah. Um, and then like she she got on the mic and just man, uh, pretty bad promo here. Uh, it felt like she was like speaking slowly because like you know she was trying to communicate with a foreign audience. Uh, it sounded like she was drunk, quite quite frankly. Like she was, it seemed like she was slurring her words. Like mm. it was like, I was like, "What is this? This is awful." Um, mm. And I don't, I don't think it was after the handshake. Like I said, it went all off a cliff. Um, I started thinking about, well, how many unscripted promos has Sasha Banks probably ever cut? Not many. Um, and you know, it was just a debut, but. Um, I don't know, man. It, it was, uh, I, I wasn't feeling it. Um, but the ticket by a public doesn't agree with me. They, they sold lots of tickets in battle in the Valley. Um, they certainly did. And, uh, and the stands were all online saying this was the only highlight of the show and you know, everything, whatever, but not the match of the decade contender. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, this was, uh, I hated all this, like just the combination of the short match, um, the, 
stuff with like the bad angle, the bad promo, the botch move, and it was just like if you thought they didn't respect women's wrestling in America, wait till New Japan gets a taste of this. They want some of that too. Yeah. Um ultimately like when I when I talk about that, like it it, it to me it seems like they had a certain amount of time devoted to much like AEW does, had a certain amount of time devoted to uh, a woman to women's segments or women's stuff. And like they're like, oh, we need time for Sasha to have her long video promo, her walk down, her her promo, her beat down of or, or her laying out uh Kyrie and all that. And like we're just gonna, you know, I think last year that starter match had like nine minutes. And they, you know, they threw the kitchen sink in that nine minutes, more or less, right? It was like, okay, so now we got to cut that shit down. You got to take three minutes from that because we only got a certain amount of time. That's what it felt like. And it's like, all right, if that's what it's going to be, um, I, you know. Uh, it, not like, it. Not like, it, Chief. My, that's, not, that's, not what, that's not what people want out of That's what people want to see. And, like, there, there are going to be times where, like, you know, it's gonna be funny because like that shit will be that shit will be on on New Japan shows and that should be on Stardom shows, and like if them shits is like under ten minutes in on New Japan shows or defenses and then like they come to Stardom and they get fifteen minutes or or you know eighteen minutes, people are gonna be like, what the fuck are y'all doing? Um, and people are not gonna be happy with no uh, ten minute Sasha Banks match. Yeah, They're, yeah, like like and and not and look and they're and they're not wrong. Um, yeah, man. So, um, let's move 